Everyone loves a fresh release, right? It gets everyone leveling together, it resets the economy, and it gives you the chance to roll something different and really play the game through and see it in a new way. Now over the past few months in the community, there's been this growing sentiment of wanting new, fresh experiences in the classic World of Warcraft scene. But as we well know, Blizzard have been pretty quiet recently on the classic side and have been putting a lot of focus on the recent retail expansion, The War Within. But things in the WoW universe Universe these days tend to rotate around a bit, so I think they're going to get back around to classic pretty soon. And after all, the idea behind Fresh, whatever expansion you're talking about, has always been pretty popular in classic. And something may just be happening relatively soon, so I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So today we're going to be discussing what's been happening in the community and what may possibly be happening for World of Warcraft's 20th anniversary. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. HelloFresh. I'm sure you've heard of HelloFresh by now, and that's because they're America's number one meal kit delivery service that gets fresh ingredients to your door at affordable prices. HelloFresh offer a wide variety of recipes weekly to suit your dietary needs too, all with pre-proportioned ingredients, and with so many options there will be something for everyone. The convenience of HelloFresh is really where it makes the difference though. You save time in the kitchen, and you get the exact amounts of what you need so nothing goes to waste. So whether it's for saving time, getting on track with better eating, or just picking up some cooking skills, HelloFresh is definitely worth a try. And if you check out my link, you'll be able to save a bunch while you do so. You could go to my link and use code WILLYSEP10 and receive 10 free meals and free breakfast for life. That'll be one breakfast item per box whilst your subscription is active if you're in the US. If not, it's okay, the link and code are still valid in all countries and your respective local discount will apply. Many thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video, let's get on back to WoW. So as you may already know, retail has had their 20 year anniversary event announced. They've got a new Gates of Anchorage world event, a BRD raid, a tier 2 revamp, and so on and so forth. Just tons of memorable stuff from the past. And 20 years of World of Warcraft as an MMO is kind of a big deal because World of Warcraft released on the 23rd of November 2004. And it's landing on a strange year because as we already know, there will not be a BlizzCon. You would think this would be one of the biggest moments in recent memory for Blizzard to celebrate. Then again, I hear the last BlizzCon alongside the Microsoft takeover wasn't as smooth of an event as things usually are, but then again I wasn't there. But alongside 20 years for World of Warcraft, it's been 5-4 classic since we restarted our journey in September 2019. In fact, it's going to be quite a bit more than 5 years by the time we get to November. And Blizzard typically do something each 5 years. Do you remember Anixia and Wrath of the Lich King? That was World of Warcraft's 5 year anniversary event. During Warlords of Draenor they brought back Molten Core as a raid for the 10 year event and for 15 years in BFA they had a big time walking event. So to have 5 years of Classic and 20 years of World of Warcraft and just to do, well, nothing doesn't quite makes sense. I don't believe they've even given a mention to Classic turning 5 years old and there's just been the occasional post popping up here and there on Reddit. I did make a video talking about everything that's happened in Classic to get us where we are today but it just feels as though there should be something else, something a bit more official. So Classic hasn't seen anything new yet but I think there is a relatively good possibility that towards November 2024 there's going to be something new. So what's the deal and why do I think there'll be something new. So you may have heard of the streamer guild that plays hardcore World of Warcraft called OnlyFangs. Now initially they were planning to start again in October and this was announced some time ago. But GM Soda Poppin delayed it saying that there is a very legitimate reason to delay things until November but he didn't elaborate any further on that. There was a supposed leak afterwards saying that there will be a fresh server but ultimately what other reason would there be to delay things? Either Blizzard has already planned some kind of event which would fit in or that it's just straight up going to be new servers and it would be worthwhile to wait, especially when November is the big anniversary month. At the same time, part of me thinks it would be strange for it to just be potentially a fresh hardcore server though. I mean, out of every variation of classic that we have, hardcore benefits from a fresh the least by an absolute mile. I mean, by default, hardcore resets player progression very often. It's more leveling driven than endgame. And as a result, 
result, there's not as much fear as missing out due to people not worrying about being behind the curve because they're never even getting to the new content in the first place. And you can start whenever and it'll be pretty popular. The only big benefit to resetting hardcore and doing a fresh would of course be a economy reset and the ability to have another 1-60 to Road to Ragnaros event, which to be fair has been done twice now. So it seems like hardcore may be getting a fresh, but would that be it for the 5 year announcement? What if there is more to it? As you've probably noticed now, Blizzard are doing a lot to keep people in the World of Warcraft sphere when it comes to new game experiences. Since Classic's release in 2019, across World of Warcraft as an IP, we have had the latter half of BFA, Classic, Classic Era, TBC Classic, Season of Mastery, Shadowlands, Wrath Classic, Hardcore Servers, Dragonflight, Season of Discovery, Plunderstorm, Cataclysm Classic and The War Within. I think that's everything. Usually in the space of five years we'd get what? Around three expansions and we'll be in the second half of the third one. And now we have, I think I just listed 13 things there. That's quite a bit more. And there's a lot of upcoming content for WoW 2. You're going to have Phase 5 of Season of Discovery. You're going to have Firelands and Cataclysm. And for retail you've had season one start recently you're gonna have mythic plus you've got the race to world first and you're gonna have the 20 year anniversary event so there's definitely more than just a few things on the horizon but my question is whether this anniversary will mark something more permanent for the future of classic because it's no secret people when it comes to classic versions of the game ask for fresh more or less constantly it just gets the more rising demand the longer time goes on whether that's been for vanilla tbc or whichever expansion really and Maybe this 20 year event will be the opportunity to set in stone a rotation of expansions to meet that constant demand for fresh. It's worked for other types of servers for years now and people are starting to miss some older expansions, most notably TBC is the one I read about all the time. Perhaps it's some kind of rotational server where it will be one year of vanilla into one year of TBC into one year of wrath. I'm not sure where the characters would go afterwards to be honest but the idea of a rotational set of realms is something something which is gaining popularity. And it doesn't have to be one year either, I know people are going to get super caught up on how fast or slow progression should be. But thinking back a bit, Blizzard hired Holly Longdale back in 2020 to the Classic team. She's now moved all the way up to Executive Producer, which is way beyond just Classic. But she used to work at Daybreak Games on EverQuest where they had time-locked progression servers. And for some of these servers, players could vote on whether an expansion should launch. For World of War, Warcraft it would be more when should a patch release. For example we'd have been in phase one of vanilla for two or three months, a vote is held, and then if it passes 75% in favour phase two would happen. I always thought part of her hiring for the classic team would be her experience in running legacy servers in an MMO in this fashion and seeing how that would fit for World of Warcraft. So I'm a bit surprised we haven't had this happen yet, but maybe the fact that there aren't rolling servers yet which are offering this experience is kind of telltale that they thought about it internally and came up with the decision of um nah we're not gonna do that if i'm honest as well i think their popularity will be pretty up in the air i think it's gonna be your typical one to two months of hype and then the majority of people are going to move on and as we've already talked about even in just the sphere of world of warcraft there's something constantly on the horizon coming up i think people who play and replay and replay the same mmo in the same way again and again have never been a huge huge population. I think most people on that first time experience they say okay I've done that and then they move on and play it again in five or six years. I mean think about some of your favorite games in whatever genre it may be. How often do you really replay them if indeed you do at all? Then again you could say Classic was always meant to be the everlasting, mostly unchanged version of World of Warcraft in the first place. At least Vanilla has had that treatment with Classic Era, so why not TBC or why not Wrath of the Lich King? And Classic Era has only seen growth over its lifetime, from being totally dead when it first released, to nowadays having a pretty steady population. Not huge compared to other versions of WoW, don't get me wrong, but there's definitely a crowd of people who want that. Even during Season of Discovery, Discovery Classic Era has still been going because people can go and have that original experience. And biggest of all, they know that their character isn't going to go anywhere no matter how long they stop playing, as everything in the game is already out. And of course, it's not a seasonal server where one day it's going to close and your character's going to be forced to go somewhere else. 
when you make something on that permanent realm, it's permanent, and I think people really like that. But overall for November, it does seem as though there will at least be something happening for the hardcore version of World of Warcraft, but I think there's a very real possibility that there is a bit more to it than just that. As for what this bit more could be, I'd have to lean towards the possibility of more legacy server options, or perhaps fresh releases for expansions that we've already gone through. There are definitely questions to be asked though as for how Blizzard will end up doing things if this does happen. I I see people asking very often, is it too late to start, am I behind the curve and so on. And if the servers were happening in a progressive fashion from vanilla through Wrath of the Lich King, let's say you only had time to start late on in vanilla, well it's going to be over two years till the next fresh, which is a pretty long way I have to say. Then again if servers ran in a parallel fashion where all three options were available simultaneously, you've now created a scenario where people have a conflict of choice as for which one they want to play which ones are most popular, which ones having the new releases, where is your guild at, and so on and so forth. There's not really a scenario here where everyone is happy with the outcome. It would just be which choice would make the most people want to come back to the game and stay on it. If indeed this happens, and this is a big if. Or perhaps it's just going to be something commemorative, albeit small, which, to be fair, is usually what anniversary events are for. So what do you think? What do you reckon is going to happen realistically in November? And what do you hope is going to happen in your ideal world? What do you want to see announced? Let me know in the comments down below. And, as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. And I'll see you all in the next one very soon.